Welcome to the Level Logger 5 LTC calibration video. Before we start, it's important to note that in order to maintain accurate connectivity readings, you should calibrate your LTC level logger at the beginning of each new monitoring project, or at a minimum about twice a year. To calibrate your LTC, you'll need the latest version of Level Logger PC software downloaded to your computer. This contains the calibration wizard. To connect the LTC to your computer, you'll need a field reader or desktop reader. Alternatively, you could use an optical adapter between the LTC and an app interface, so you could use your smart device via Bluetooth. You will also need calibration solutions, clear beakers or cylinders to hold the LTC during calibration, deionized water, cotton swabs, a bucket for waste solution and DI water, and clean paper towels or cloths. The Level Logger 5 LTC has a calibration range from 50 to 80,000 microsiemens per centimeter and can be calibrated to four standard points. These are 1413, 5000, 12880, and 80,000 microsiemens per centimeter. If you know the approximate connectivity range of the water that you'll be measuring, select two calibration points one above and one below that expected range. If you're measuring in water less than 1413 microsiemens or above 80,000 microsiemens, use just that one calibration solution. We're going to do a two-point calibration using 1413 and 5000 microsiemens per centimeter solutions. Calibration solutions should be fresh and have a temperature error of plus or minus 2% or better. During calibration, the solution should be kept as close as possible to the stated temperature on the bottle, which is usually 25 degrees Celsius. Only use solutions between 10 degrees and 30 degrees C. If outside that range, the LTC may not pass calibration. It's also important to keep the solution temperature stable throughout the entire calibration process. Before you begin, Make sure your LTC's conductivity cell is clean. The pins on the LTC level logger sensor are platinum coated, so they should not be roughly cleaned or touched with any metal. They can be gently cleaned using a soft bristle brush, Q-tip, or cloth. For hard water deposits or biofouling, the LTC can be soaked briefly in diluted solution of less than 10% acid. Always rinse with deionized water after cleaning, and then rinse again with the calibration solution to be used before you start calibration. Now submerge the LTC in the conductivity solution in a clear, clean container. The calibration process always starts with the lowest conductivity solution. Open the Level Logger software and connect the submerged LTC with your field or desktop reader or with your smart device via an app interface and optical adapter. Lightly tap and swirl the LTC to remove any bubbles that may have formed on the sensor. Bubbles on the sensor during calibration can cause inaccuracy or a failed calibration. Use real-time view to ensure stable temperature readings. Note that it could take up to two or three minutes for the LTC to thermally equilibrate and stabilize. Let's start the calibration. Click on the Connectivity Calibration tab and retrieve the settings from the connected LTC by clicking the icon in the top left of the software. If your LTC is still logging, click the Stop icon. It must be stopped to perform calibration. The software reminds you of the points we've discussed, including cleaning the sensor and ensuring that you use fresh calibration solutions. Click Next to get to Step 1. Enter the temperature coefficient of the solution you're using. It can be found on the label of the solution's original bottle. Our solution has a coefficient of 2.00. Click Next to move on to Step 2. Select all the solutions that you'll use for this calibration. We're doing a two-point calibration, so we've selected 1413 and 5000 microsiemens. Be sure that you've cleaned, rinsed, and immersed the probe as previously described. You can use real-time view to verify that the temperature readings have stabilized. When the LTC is ready, 
Click Next to calibrate. The calibration solution temperature is a real-time value, in other words, what the LTC is reading at that time. The electrical conductivity of solution is a calculated value, which is based on the real-time temperature of the solution, the temperature coefficient that was entered in step one, and the calibration solution that was selected in step two. The LTC level logger will compare the current real-time temperature and real-time readings against the calculated conductivity reading shown and ensure accurate calibration. When doing a two-point calibration, after you click OK, you are brought back to the beginning of step three to repeat the procedure to calibrate using the second solution. Rinse the LTC with deionized water. Rinse with the second calibration solution. Then immerse the LTC in the second calibration solution. Lightly tap the LTC to remove any bubbles and wait until the sensor stabilizes. Click Next to calibrate. The conductivity value is a calculated value based on the real-time temperature of the solution, the temperature coefficient that was entered in step one, and the calibration solution that was selected in step two. The LTC level logger will compare the current real-time temperature and real-time readings against the calculated conductivity reading shown to ensure accurate calibration. Then click OK. Now the LTC is ready to deploy in the field. We hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions, please contact Solens Canada at any time.